The Lion King, the 2019 version, directed by John Favreau. The plot of this movie is... <laughs> Do I really need to go through the plot? Do I really need to? No. It's pretty much the same story you've seen before. Now, I'm all for remakes. I'm all for it. If it's necessary, as long as it's a necessary thing to do. When I first saw the movie, I was somewhat mixed to somewhat all right with it. Then I decided to watch it again on my phone. I decided to give it another watch, give it another try, see if, my, if I liked it more, or maybe I liked it a little less, or if it got worse for me in second viewing. And I'm on the boat with you guys. This film, this remake, it's not good. It was really, really lifeless. Let's just say that it's a very lifeless, uninspired, really workmanlike. It's pretty much the same story you've seen before, millions and millions of times. But there are maybe a couple of positives. I will say there are some positives in this review. Don't get me wrong. This is not a full-on rant or full-on explosions, exposure of me shouting, screaming at the camera, saying this movie completely sucked balls. I'll say this, the animation in terms of full realistic landscapes, sky, the grass, the trees and the animals themselves are pretty good. It is visually stunning. I will give this film some praise. The visual effects does look pretty decent. I will give it that for sure. Timon Pumba, bickering, voiced by Billy Ackner and Seth Rogen both are just as funny and likeable as they are and I pretty enjoy them for what they're given. Hans Zimmer's score, pretty good. I like some of the score he brought in, recycled what was in the original thought and brought it here. But he used some music into it. It's good to listen to. I would like to listen to some of those music scores. And the songs, yes, they're good. For the most part, it's good. James Earl Jones is fine. He did his best here. He's basically just phoned it in most of the part, but the most part he was fine. He's fine to listen to, but it got music to my ears. He was fine. As far as everything else about this movie, everything from when you saw that remake, where you've seen the original before, they are good, but it just feels like, yeah, we've been there, we've done that. So, what's the point of this? Now look, remakes, like I said, remakes are not as bad as people say, as long as it's necessary. But The Lion King is completely unnecessary. There's no point to it. There is no point remaking a classic is already good so what's the point if you're just going to do the same story the same beat for beat the only difference is they've done is either some of the scenes are shortened or maybe the dialogue is changed or limited or even the be prepared song is very shortened it's just very speech given and not singing it's pretty much what we've seen before in remakes they just don't do anything new they don't do anything original now they do Ask a few things like how the Nile escaped from the prior lives without Scar noticing, which I'm glad they noticed that, but do you really need to see how Nala escapes from the prior lands? No, not really. It's just, it just come across as tired or undercooked. It just felt, like I said, it's very workmanlike. Now, I know some of you guys on there do enjoy the film. If you do, that's completely fine. If you like this remake, if you seem to enjoy it, or you think it's a great film, Again, you're entitled to like that movie. You're entitled to enjoy this film. No matter what people say, you'll love it. You're going to have a good time watching The Lion King remake. You're going to have a good time. But if you're a smarter person like myself and anyone out there who expecting something, just pretty much the same thing, yeah, you, you get what you get. I just want to say this now. I am not a hater on John Favreau. I respect John Favreau. I do like him. He's a great director. He's done so many good stuff. He has done Iron Man, Chef, The Jungle Book, which he did direct, which is a really damn good remake. Elf, he's done so many good stuff. Yes, he has made a few misses here and there, but for the most part, he's a great filmmaker. He knows what he's doing. He's very creative, really talented. He knows he can bring something good out of it. Now, I don't want to blame John Favreau for this one because I feel like Disney must have saw how The Jungle Book went, it was done so well box office wise and critical wise. Disney must have come in and said, Hey John Favreau, do you remember that Jungle Book remake you just did? It's received really good reviews and it's made nearly a billion of dollars at the box office. Can you do this again, but do it with The Lion King. 
because we're going to do these remakes of these original classics that everyone loves because we're going to do this nostalgia wise because nostalgia is so nostalgic we have to do the Lion King we have to make the Lion King do we really need to do that Mr. Iger? do we really need to do that? yes John yes we have to number one best company everyone loves Disney again it's just pretty much John Favreau just doesn't want to change anything from the Lion King originally he wants to keep it as because if he changed little things or the whole entire movie about the Lion King remake because then everyone's going to start saying oh you butchered the Lion King you ruined the original this is nothing like the animated film blah blah again let me circle back to what's the point Lion King's a classic it should never be made it should never be touched it should have just left it be movies like The Jungle Book you could do a remake of that. There's so many versions of Jungle Book. Do another remake of that. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I can see that's a potential remake. Because that has a lot of potential. Because nobody remembers the original that much. Remake that film. Atlantis The Lost Empire. I can see that as a, a remake potential. Because the original film wasn't perfect. But I can see that as a, a remake potential. So do that. Please. But The Lion King though. That's. That's. Just top tier Disney. It's a classic. It's near perfection. There's no point to it. There is no point at all. Now look, I do enjoy the Little Mermaid remake. Now say what you will about the Little Mermaid remake. At least in that remake alone. Because we look at Prince Eric, there's not much to him as a character in the original film because he's just a, a pretty boy dreamboat in the original film. But when it comes to the live action, he gets a more character depth. And also expand upon the chemistry between him and Ariel. And it blends so well and it worked. Because even though The Little Mermaid original film is a good film. It's a classic. But the remake does expand a few things. And also fix some of the issues that Prince Eric has. Because he's a blind character from the original. So they give them more of a character arc. That both him and Ariel go together. So either perfect together and perfectly matched. But here The Lion King... It's, okay, let's see what they do this. Oh, it's the same thing. Okay, let's see what this song does. Oh, it's the same thing. So it pretty much means it's the same, same beat for beat, shot for shot, copy and paste, and take or leave it liking remake from Disney. The other biggest issue I have is the facial expressions on these animals. Basically, these animals are looked now I get what John Favreau was going for with their photorealistic stuff with its you know animals the way they move and talk I get what they're going for but the way it is way too realistic they made them look as my brother pointed out they look like robots like they're giving motionless downbeat very low graded animals they don't show the expressions how they're feeling like happy sad anger or you know, blessed or something. They never show any of the emotions. Especially one scene with Simba screams no. In the original you do see the expression in the remake. It's basically Simba just open its mouth like this. No. Basically just a cat meowing for its milk. Pretty much that is. I can't really say anything else about the Lion King remake. It's, it's what you expect from it. It's the same beat for beat film. I can't go into much details. There are some good things about the Lion King remake. Oh, there are, there's still a few things I think I still hold it to this day. But as far as anything else about this remake, it's just felt the same. Same story, it's the same characters. There's nothing new. Minus a few changes, like a few scenes are shortened or expanded upon. The characters are just there the same. Well, minus Rafiki, which. I will say it's now Rafiki, they changed them a little bit, say that fun aspects when they made them take away straight away from his character personality wise. Again, like I said, I don't hate the remake of The Lion King, I don't necessarily hate it, nor I do not love it. I just find it some completely pointless, it doesn't need to be remade, it's just a movie just to cash in nostalgia. If you like this film, you'll enjoy it, you have a good time with it, but honestly, if I had to pick this or the original film. I'll take the original film any day, any night, any week, any month, any year, any decade, any generation, till I die. I'll pick the 1994 film over this cashless 
boring fest of a remake. I'm going to give The Lion King 2019 film a C-. Guys, comment down below and tell me what you think of this Lion King remake. <laughs> do you love it? Do you like it? Or you think it's alright? Or do you hate it? Whatever the case is, comment down below, civilly please. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time, see ya.